So what is up guys, welcome back to the channel, my name is Movement6 and as a growing habit, first of all, a huge thank you to all the guys who subbed this week, your support means a lot to me, so if you're new here, drop a like, comment, subscribe, do your thing, you know, um, a new day, a new dawn is upon me today, um, I've been a gamer almost my entire life, really, I've still own i've owned almost every console out there what are we talking about nintendo playstation uh, sega uh the handhelds i just ordered zelda breath of the wild for my switch i've got two playstations one here for online and competitive gaming in the studio i've got my xbox and i produce a lot of music i'm here in my studio you guys can see it but i've got my time production system in front of me that side i've got my dj boot and that's why I've always been standardized on Mac OS for music production, DJing, going live, those kind of things. In terms of gaming, I don't believe in the war between PC and consoles. But hey, there are a lot of people that say that PC gaming is the elite of the gamers. I still don't belong to that elite. I need to find out what it is, how it is. And... On that side, I also think that by the hardcore PC gamers who are watching this, I'm still a noob because I haven't built my own system. It doesn't matter to me. I, I don't think so. I've watched tons of uh, websites to build my own PC and uh, my job regularly is in the infrastructural business. I build data centers. So I know a thing or two about GPUs, CPUs, and, and, and motherboards, and how you build huge computerized systems. So I can build my own. But at the end of the day, if I built my own Intel i9, i7, or AMD processor, if I build it, somebody else can do it for me as well. So I know that there's a debate out there. You should build your own PC. I haven't done it. I bought the HP Omen with Risen 7 in it. I, I did some testing left and right. I did some checking. Of course, the Intel i9 is the better option maybe, but for my purpose, it was the i7 or the Risen 7 from AMD, Intel versus AMD. I went for the AMD one. This is not a video why specifically, but for me, the AMD had the slightly more advantages than an Intel i7, but that's not for now, guys. So I am entering the PC gaming world where I predominantly will see if I can learn to do some Rainbow Six Siege. And there is also another reason why I want to enter more the Windows-based platform from gaming and streaming. I've got everything Mac OS based. I'm running OBS. And I do notice that whether or not you're looking at the tutorials online, whatever people tell you, running OBS or any other open source software that requires streaming or gaming or whatever, Mac OS is not optimized for that shit, for that purpose. The reason is quite simple. With, with things like OBS, you want to be able to fine tune how you stream, how you encode, Mac OS just doesn't let third-party software dive in to the hardware and the processor to optimize it. Just It's a closed system. To me, I will always produce on Mac OS for video editing, to me, and for especially for audio, producing DJ Mac OS is the way better. But for streaming, gaming, and also video editing maybe, but for streaming and gaming, I just need a Windows-based platform, full stop. I, the tons of issues I'm having with OBS, uh, just as a slight example, and Mac is, I can't count the errors and glitches and bullshit I have. So I hope to see improvement there, but I will also take you guys on an adventure on how my PC gaming is. But let's do some unboxing here. So let's start. With the first one the new streaming mic i do have a mic here everything set up this mic i've got here is well predominantly for for recording vocals i've got all kinds of effect processing machines here for 
Um, and it wasn't really working for me. I want to keep that for my production system. So I bought the Trust Amita PC laptop streaming. It's, uh, it's a beautiful design. I'm also a sucker for design. It has the old look and feel. So I'm, I'm really curious on uh, what this will bring. Let's dive into this. It's perfectly caged, really it is. Trust a Mita streaming and gaming mic. It, it has some good reviews, so let's see what it does. Tabletop stand top so we could put that one back and then we can crack on with this one. Let's go off to the next one So as a mouse I went for the G502 Hero from Logitech um, I had to make a decision guys because uh, in all fairness I'm not into PC gaming, so I needed to make a choice based on reviews based on what people said and thought this came really close in what I would expect. It's really solid. It feels good. I like some heavy shit in my hands, um, as well as with controllers. That's also the reason I like the Xbox controller over the PlayStation 4 controllers. Oh, here we go. This is good. So you can make it even more heavier than it is already, which I like because with the Nacon uh, controllers, you also have this option to give a bit more weight to it which i welcome because i don't like here we go this is it babes here we go this is it peeps this is it this is what i want to see oh yeah yeah here we go easy does it easily done logitech g 502 hero gaming mouse. I, I still have to work with it, but from the look and feel right now, I can work with this. So let's go off to the next one. G the Logitech G432. It was an offer. I didn't actually thought about a gaming headset, a new one. I have one, uh, which I am very happy with, but I wanted to, well, shake things up. It was an offer I could get with the HP Omen. I think this one was about uh, $70, 70 euros. It's practically the same. So let's open it up. Build quality is actually pretty solid. It does have a lot of moving parts. So I am very keen on understanding how this is going to affect the durability and how long it's going to last but in all in all in all fairness guys it does look good it's a bit it's a bit harder than i'm used to with the other one but it has good ergonomics it it does close up my ears pretty well it's got 7.1 surround sound which is only for pc by the way if you plug this in a playstation 4 an xbox one or even your switch, which is fully supported, of course, because it just has the mini jack as well. Then you will lose the 7.1 surround. So feels good. Feels feels really good. So the G4432 gaming headset, not bad at all. We still need to do the keyboard because what is a gaming system without a keyboard i went for the almond sequencer it was a package of course they introduced with the hp omen i must say it did really well in the reviews uh, so it was recommended left and right in terms of how the responsiveness of the keyboard is and, and the keys so i just have to go for that right In all fairness, guys, the the whole economics, the responsiveness. This is going to be my main Waterloo is the handling. 
the 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 amount of buttons that's going to be going from a controller to this is going to be my biggest issue but it it looks good it looks solid it feels good it feels responsive and that's i to me that's going to be uh the main driver for me that i actually feel what i'm doing uh i'm getting quickly used to everything so really looking forward to this type of type of machine it it looks extremely good i i have to get used to what the things are but it looks good it looks really good and now the moment we've all been waiting for hp omen the gaming system let's dig into this The HP Omen gaming system powered by Risen uh, 7 processor. Um, I will do a full review, of course, when the time is there, when I've got everything hooked up, everything installed. I can't wait to get my hands on this machine. Um, I will share all the specs with you in the comments here below or um, in, 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 in the introduction. For now, I'm going to set this up. I will be with you shortly when I'm really entering the world of PC games. See you soon, guys.